create and use analytic rubrics when you want to evaluate learners based on multiple criteria. This tutorial shows how to create an analytic rubric. To begin, from the Rubrics page, click New Rubric. Enter a name for the rubric. You must publish a rubric before it can be used in assessments. It is important to change the rubric status from Draft to Published if you want to use it. Enter a description for the rubric to explain to learners how you will use it to assess their work. Select the number of levels and criteria you need for your rubric. Levels display in the columns of your rubric and are associated with the number of points. Criteria display in the rows and define how points will be allocated. Then, select your scoring method. Scoring methods include text only, points, custom points, and percentages. For more information about the available methods, click What are scoring methods? In this example, we will use the default points method. When you are ready, click Save. To edit your rubric's levels and criteria, click Levels and Criteria. Here, you can customize the descriptions for the criteria and levels of your rubric. Click a Criterion's context menu and select Edit Criterion. Enter a name for the criterion, then enter a description that explains to learners how they achieve the corresponding level for that criterion. Complete this step for each level of the criterion. You can also provide learners with feedback that corresponds to each level. When you have completed your edits, click Save to move on to the other criteria in the rubric. Edit the remaining criteria in the rubric. When you are finished editing your rubric, click Close. Your newly created rubric displays in the list on the Rubrics page. Create and use analytic rubrics when you want to evaluate learners based on multiple criteria.